I grew up worshipping Mary Kane and Ashley Olsen and I still love them and I'm now having a lot of fun watching some things that they did when they were children that I never saw and that's primarily the You're Invited To series. Now I don't know why I never saw these. I'm not sure if they were just not released in the UK but I'm now having the joy of watching them for the first time. The first one I watched was You're Invited To Mary Kane and Ashley's Birthday Party. This one is the Mall Party and this one was released in 1999 so it's actually one of the last ones in the series and I'm blown away by the location of this. This is set in the Mall of America which is an actual shopping mall in Minneapolis that has a theme park inside of it, a sea life centre, uh, I think there's a water park in there and apparently over 500 shops and restaurants. I need to go there. It sounds amazing. Um, we don't actually get to see that much of the mall in this. Um, there are not that many kind of vast shots of it. It's all very obviously close up with the Olsons, but it does seem like a really fun, exciting place. And as a child, it really would have made me want to go to the mall or shopping centre. As with, well, the other ones in the series, but certainly as with the birthday party, there is a bit of a narrative here. Mary Kate and Ashley are bored because it's been raining non-stop. So their cousin Jamie invites them to go to the mall with her. And they go with their two friends, Jenna and Claire. And when they're there, they explore the mall and each one inspires a different song. So the first song is Meet You at the Mall, which when watching it, I remember thinking, yeah, that's a pretty catchy song, nothing spectacular. But it's been about an hour since I watched this and I now cannot remember any of the lyrics or really even the tune. So it mustn't be that memorable. I, I will say as well, I'm realising quite quickly that most of the songs in this and the birthday party one, they're all very, very similar. Very similar in tune, in rhythm. But I wasn't expecting anything spectacular. I was expecting it to be fun and cheesy and corny and that's exactly what was delivered. The second song I love, and this is called Toys When I Grow Up. And they go to a toy store and the song is all about them having fun with the toys and the gadgets and realising that when they're older, they're going to want to be children again. And the message is basically don't grow up before you have to. You're never too old to unleash your inner child and have fun with toys. One of my favourite, well, my favourite line in this, in this song is this paradise of toys may just be better than boys. I love that and it's so true. Of course it's true. Toys are way better than boys. It then moves on to one called Food Court and... Believe it or not, this is set in the food court. I actually quite enjoyed this one and it actually gave us some of their strongest vocals, I think. I think we can all admit that the Olsons were never the most f fabulous singers, but they could carry a tune. And food court, particularly with Ashley, Ashley sang a lot of this and it was actually pretty good. It, there are a lot of words in this very quickly, not rapid or anything, but a lot of different food-based words and... I kind of enjoyed that and the message of this song is you know try a different cuisine explore a different um nationalities you know foods rather than just going for pizza and chips all the time but mary kate being mary kate brought fries along anyway and you know i feel like it felt true to the characters that we knew they'd become at this point it was a lot of fun this is probably my favourite song in the lot. I just think it was the most clever and the most intricate. And yeah, I feel like Ashley's vocals here were really a lot stronger than they are in the rest. Then the next one is Decision Decisions. And this is the only time we get costume changes, which was quite surprising. Bearing in mind I've only seen Birthday Party. But in that one, it was constant costume changes. This one, when they're, in, when they're clothes shopping, this is the only time we get to see costume changes. It was quite fun, it was very quick, it was very, very quick and I don't know how many times they had to film this particular song um, but it, it seemed really fluid and, and the choreography was really great so it was actually a pleasure to watch because it seemed completely streamlined and really, really entertaining but I imagine it probably took a lot of takes. The last one is uh, Instant Party and Mary Kate and Ashley are basically putting on a concert in the mall. We do have a costume change here as well actually and it's it's high energy it's it's fun i think it's somewhere every young child would want to be it's it's a good way to end it you know it was if it, it didn't feel like it was building up to this but certainly it's a decent finale song 
in all, I enjoyed it as an Olsen's fan. Obviously, if you're not a fan of Mary Kate and Ashley, then I'd say don't watch this because you will just think, what on earth? But it did introduce me to the Mall of America, which I hadn't heard of. Now very desperate to go there. Unfortunately, Minneapolis is exceptionally difficult to get to from London compared to, you know, some of the other states. But I enjoyed it. It was good fun. The songs weren't quite as catchy as the ones in Birthday Party. But I do still have some more of these to watch, so maybe I'll rank them all at the end. But for now, not as good as Birthday Party, but still pretty decent.